Well, congratulations. Thank you very to much. Being a Tony nominee, Broadway debut, yes? Broadway debut. And a big, wonderful revival of this story that is so close to so many of us. Tell yeah. me why this role, this play, um, was so important to you. Well, in the auditions, um, you know, traditionally Lady Tiang is played by a, a little older than, than I am, and we're not going to say what I <laughs> but, but uh, I, I was talking to Bart about this woman, and I was like, I, I connect with her. I know who she is, and I would love to tell her story. That was earlier on in the audition process, and I thought, you know, there, I put it out there. You know, whatever, whatever happens, happens. Um, but the more I got to know her and the more I got to really dig into this, into this script, there is so much there that I really do connect with. But this woman is just, she is the epitome of a powerful woman to me and she doesn't need to raise her voice she doesn't need to flap her arms and, and yell feminism because she is the ultimate feminist without having you know all the flags and, 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 and bright lights you know or any applause even really um, yeah I mean you see that in your face and I mean he's got all the wives he's yeah, girl, yeah. all the children but she is and you carry yourself you carry yourself thank you older Thank I you. Felt, I mean, I felt, I believe, I didn't even think about your age. Thank you. To be in <laughs> that, that is the ultimate compliment. <laughs> You're welcome. To be in a production, though, Lincoln Center, mm -hmm. with a beautiful orchestra, oh, the staging. The best orchestra. It, it's sort of the epitome of Broadway, is it not? It this is. I think I, I am very, very spoiled in this, you know, to be on the best stage in the world with the most incredible company, the best orchestra, really the, the dream team. Tell me about that. Tell me about like the classic. If you have a favorite classic song, or just what it, what it, how it resonates when you're out there. Well, I didn't. I didn't know this show really. Um, I knew a couple of the songs that you study in class, right? You study these songs in, in school all the time, uh, but I didn't. I didn't sing any of them myself, and I, I certainly didn't dig too deep into the script until I was in the audition process. Um, but as soon as we hit that rehearsal room and all the creative team got there and everyone started throwing in their ideas and e even in the audition like Ted uh, Sperling, our, our conductor, our music director, he was like, I want you to summon the, po the, the, the powers of the orchestra like you're calling them to war. And I was like, this is just visual imag imagery that is taking me to a whole nother place. You know, and, and in doing that it really um, and, and you can you can imagine it is like going to war. You've got 30 people down there. You've got 29 incredible instrumentalists, um, you know, uh, playing this music. And uh, is there a the song whole, or a is there a song? Part of an over, over, you know, an instrumental that just really um, gets it for you, or just what? What do you? I love listening to the overture. I love the overture. It it really just says like. Good morning. The show is happening now. And that's you know that's the cue. But it's also um, listening to every every a taste of every song being put together, and they have been reorchestrated in a way that is that is new to the audience um, by our incredible music team. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't talk enough about them. Tell me too. It has to be personally. I mean, many Asian actors mm -hmm. are employed here and that's a it's a yeah. beautiful thing it's huge it is huge um, and I think we all count ourselves incredibly fortunate to be a part of a a wonderful masterful piece of theater but also that we're all Asian and um, and it's just something that we've been longing for for so long um, and that we get to do it together and there's there's a little bit of everybody in this cast um, and it's fun because when you get us backstage you start to hear all the languages coming out and everyone just kind of you know gravitating towards their towards their person uh, my dressing room I have Ashley in my room and we're both Korean so we, we you know we speak Korean in a dressing room and you know and she calls me uh, Unni which is a uh, Korean for bigger sister big sister so yeah she's my little sister and, and I'm her Unni and it's fun <laughs>